Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Good afternoon, YouTube. Today is a glorious day out in the woods. Uh, I figured I'd make this video because I've been slammed for doing Joseph Teddy videos by some of his psycho fans. Um, people that say, oh, Joe is the greatest thing since sliced bread and pockets on jeans as far as the bushcraft community is concerned, survivalist, whatever. And we've always stuck by the premise that he doesn't know survival. He has no survival skills whatsoever. And then we went on and said, you know, hey, Joe, you're, you're kind of a little bit out there. You're, you're a strange bird. You lie about just about everything. You lie about your military background. You lie about this, that. And we get slammed for it. And, you know, people saying, you don't know, you don't know. And he doesn't have to prove this or that. Well, today Discovery Channel has canceled dual survival because of an incident where, from what I'm reading on TMZ, um, Joe had an altercation with a dog on a set where he injured and or possibly killed this animal while filming. And Discovery Channel has decided to cancel the show and cut their ties with them. Since then I've gotten reports that the North Carolina base uh, dual survival Discovery Channel studio has blocked their doors and called the police, probably afraid that Joe is going to go out there and pull some psycho whatever, you know, workplace violence, if you want to call it that these days. It just goes to show that we weren't lying when we said the man is unstable. He has threatened people. He has threatened a lot of people. And now he's suing the Special Forces community and witnesses to that have been threatened. And, you know, he thinks he's going to silence them. Now, without Discovery Channel's backing and their lawyers and everything else, I wonder how this lawsuit's going to go down. He's asking for $25 million in damages, which is laughable at best. Um, I'm seeing that, you know, Cabela's dropped their sponsorship of him. Hopefully, Casio watches and anybody else who's affiliated with this guy will see that he is not the survival expert. He is possibly dangerous, hence the reason he has a lifetime protection order against him. Lifetime. You don't get that based on nothing. You know, you have to be truly out there. The judge obviously thought so and issued the protection order. Uh, then the police had to go and collect Joseph's guns that he was using because he's not allowed to own a gun if you have a lifetime protection order. That started a whole nother thing, and hence the reason why he sued the Special Forces community for disavowing him, amongst other things. I'm laughing. I think this is one of the greatest things that could ever, ever happen to anybody. You know, your comeuppance has finally come, got, you know, full circle, came back around, and bit you right in the ass. You've always been a tool, in my opinion. You're, you're a liar, a fraud. I think you're a stolen valor thief. Uh, you won't produce documentation to prove anybody wrong. And then you get your little minions, Jennifer Delgado, Jenny Dare, and the rest of them, and, and Lee, was it BJJ, whatever, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> you guys are Len. Yeah, you guys are a joke. You backed a guy who is now not building his empire as he said you know stick around while I build my empire his empire is done and it's about time Discovery Channel came forward and said hey we just can't deal with this guy anymore it's caught on film will we ever see him actually injuring the dog I don't know you know he says he's protecting a cat whatever I'm reporting you to PETA on top of it I hope they're all over you everything you think you're going to do from now on, I'm going to be all over it like white on rice because I think it's just funny. Injuring a dog, what are you, some sort of nutcase? In my opinion, you must have screws loose. You want to show that you're big and bad. And on the day that, you know, I didn't even make the video this day, I could not believe 
that Discovery Channel would allow you to do this on a day of remembrance to the fallen heroes, the warriors who didn't make it back home. Memorial Day. It's not about veterans. That's Veterans Day. And then there's Armed Forces Day. This is remembering fallen heroes who didn't come back. You actually had the nerve to put a picture up and talk about, oh, look at me in a combat zone, not in military uniform, in a contractor's uniform, on a motorcycle, dirt bike out in some desert somewhere, probably Nevada, to say, I'm one of the heroes. No, you couldn't have been so far off the mark on that one if you tried. That day was for sitting down and thanking the people and the spirit of the people who did not come back. Apparently you don't get that because honor with you has gone right out the window. I'm loving this. Loving it seeing it coming around. And all you guys that have commented on my pages before, I've blocked all the teddy lovers. You know, you're just blocked. You can't see this. But my one video, my apology to Joseph Teddy, has over 6,500 views. God knows how many shares. For me, that's a big deal, you know, to see that people are actually looking, listening, taking it in, and, and, and getting some of the true information. Because that's what this is about, is putting out the true information. Joe, you threaten people. You've threatened people before. Come threaten me. Please, to God, come threaten me with one of your little psychopaths. I would love it. You know where I live. I've given out my address. I've given directions to your psychos to directly to my house from their house. Come get some. With this, this is this is the greatest thing. I swear to God, I'm going to pop a bottle of champagne tonight and sit back and toast to your eminent demise. Good riddance. Glad they finally got rid of you. And with that said, may all you just have a great day out there in the woods. God bless America. Praise to the soldiers who did not make it back and for the ones who are still fighting for us every day. The ones who serve our country with honor, distinction, doing a job that, you know, most people are now slamming these days. Oh, we shouldn't be in this war, shouldn't be in that war. You know, we see a lot of the ISIS stuff. And, you know, hey, Joe, why don't you go put your line on the life over there? Oh, that's right. You wouldn't do it unless there was a huge paycheck in it for you. That's what you're about. You're about money, honor, integrity. I don't believe you have any of those. Y'all have a great day.